Number 33 with the return. Nice return. Zebra struggling to bring him down. Finally bring him down about the 50. First and 10 for Whitco. Wildcats C team come in here. Taking on the Zebra C team. RTC TV4, Scott Sager with you. Good penetration by the Zebras. Number 34 able to scramble for a couple. Okay, second down here for the Wildcats. Dive to the right side. Stood up early, brought down by the Zebras. No gain on the play. Zebra C team coming off a loss last week to Peru where they played a very strong second half. Coming out of the gate here, have the Wildcats back third and eight on their first drive. It's back to pass to the right side through the hands of number 44. Broken up by Zebra's number 23, that's Gary and Tarrant. It's going to bring up fourth down. See the Wicko player counting the number of guys on his side of the field. Looks like number 34 was there with the kick for Whitco. Eighty-six Bryce Lehman with the return, and no name on a number 34 for Whitco. Apologize for that. None listed. Zebras take over first and ten. Their first drive of the game here. 8:20 left in the first. Zebras come out with their wide set. Sailors with the handoff. Nothing there. That was to number 34 on the Zebras, Bryce Baker. Loss of about four on the play. Brings up second down. Drew Sailor's back. Zebras send one out to the far right side. Handoff. Spun around in the backfield. Another loss there. I believe that was number 23, Gary and Tarrant. Going to bring up third down, 15 for the Zebras. Zebras send twins to the near side. Two wide outs, I should say. Flag on the play, pass over the middle. Play is ruled dead. See what the call here is. If 
False start on the Zebras. It's going to back them up five. Going to make it third and 20. Ball on the 20, just past the 20 yard line. The rainy day here, Barnhart Field in Rochester. Rain subsided, but we still have overcast skies. Very little sun at the moment. Slight breeze coming out of the south. Sailor's back for this third down play. Rolls to his right. Pass complete to number 22. Gets it just past the original line of scrimmage there. Good play for the Zebras. He's going to bring up fourth down. Number 24 for the Zebras, that's Harrison Harrell, back to punt. In this fourth and long situation. High punt. Needs a good Zebra roll. And rolls out of bounds at 41. Whitco takes over with 6.05 left to go here in the first quarter. Chains have been reset. Whitco ready to go with their first down, and first and ten play. Looks like a false start. I think 89 jumped. If no one else, let's take a look. Yep, backed him up five. False start on Whitco. It's going to be first and 15. Go, hand off to the far side. It was number 34 with the carry for Whitco. Again, no number for 34, I'm sorry to say. Brought down by number five, Drew Sailors for the Zebras. Second 10, 5.30 to go here in the first quarter. Zebra C team football. Handoff up the middle. Plenty of room as the front line for Whitco did its job there. First down. Pitch to the far side, number 33 for the Wildcats. Gets a running room. Finally brought down after the first down marker. Good run. Thirty-three on the roster is Travis Walls, a 5'9, 160-pound sophomore for Whitco. Comes in, one out to the far side. Quarterback rolls to his right. 
pass over the head of that wide receiver who was swung right. Gonna bring up second down. Second, 10, ball on the 27-yard line with 4.41 to go. Handoff up the middle. Initial stop made by number 70 for the Zebras with an assist by number 50. 70 being Wes Scobie, 50 being Zach Dugan. So it brings up third and about seven for the Wildcats. We'd go taking their time. This third down play. They send one receiver out to the near side. Man in motion. Quarterback rolls to his right, being pursued. Keeps it. And he's brought down. Appears to be short of the first down marker. We'll wait for the official spot. And it's going to be fourth down, about three to go. Zebra defense doing a good job of pursuing there. Whitko sends man on the far side. Go for the handoff up the middle. Waiting for the spot. Looks like it's going to be well short. Maybe not. Okay, referee on the far side had the spot. Let's see if we can't zoom in and show you some of that. Give me a close measurement. Looks like Wicko's short by about two or three links of the chain. Some rather odd little transition there, but uh, favored the Zebras. Interesting far spot by the referee there. So Zebras take over, first and 10. Ball's on the 17-yard line. Pitch to the right side for the Zebras. Bryce Baker with a nice run there. An 11 yard gain there, gives the Zebras a first down with 2.43 to go here in the first. Scores nothing to nothing. The Zebras mounted a good fourth down stop on the Wildcats' last drive. A little bit of confusion from the players on where they need to be at the start of this play. See if Drew Sailors can get them calmed down. Pitch out to the right side. Couple of jukes and a couple of blocks and he's got some room. He stops, jukes. Gets some momentum, and he's brought down. A great run by the young Bryce Baker, number 34 for the Zebras.
Gave the fans a little something to cheer about. Strong run by the Zebras. Similar set here. Nope. They bring Gary and Tarrant back a little bit. Hand off to Baker again, but the Whitco Wildcats are all over that. Loss of six on that play. See if they give him a little bit of forward momentum. End up calling it a loss of about two. Pass out to the right side. A little bit of a gain on that. So going to bring up third down with 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Zebras evened up 0-0 with the Whitco Wildcat C team. Traveling over to Barnhart Field tonight. Sailors with the pitch to the near side. Baker trying to get some blockers. Ends up getting pushed out of bounds. And that's going to do it for the first quarter here. Zebra's fourth down. Taylor's back, gets the snap, drops back for the pass over the middle. He's got a receiver open, but drops the ball. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Whitco will take over first and 10, just inside the 10 minute mark here in the second quarter. Go pass to the near side, overthrows his receivers. Again, another jersey we don't have a number for is number three, their quarterback. Apologize for that. Bring up second down. Up the middle. Zebra's not fooled. Make it third and seven here for Whitco. Drops back to pass, comes over to number 89, goes over his head. That's going to bring up fourth down. 
Drew Saylor's back defending there. Whitco lined up to punt here. Oh, that's a short punt. Bouncing, zebras get away. <coughs> zebras will take over here, first and 10. From about the 43 yard line. Sailors with a handoff right up the middle. No gain on the play. It's Baker trying to steam ahead. Only gets so far. Baker's a 5'9", 180-pound sophomore for the Zebras. Showed us a nice run earlier. Shows a lot of promise for this young Zebra, zebra team. Sailors with a little swing pass out to the right. Nice play for the Zebras. Of course, that was number 22, Justin Riston, the 5'7 sophomore with the catch. I'm going to be first and 10 for the Zebras. Pitch to Baker to the left side. Get some blockers out in front. He's good for about a 14-yard gain, 15-yard gain for the young sophomore. Some good lead blocking there by the Zebras with 7.20 left here in the first half. Zebras score even up 0-0 against the Whitco Wildcats. And off number 23 to the right side. Finally brought down out of bounds. Almost a late hit. Of course, that's number 23, Gary and Tarrant. What are they calling? Looks like they're going to call a hold, maybe. Going to bring him back. So that's the spot of the foul holding penalty against the Zebras. Going to bring them back 10 from the spot. Going to put the Zebras at about the 38 yard line. Back them up to about 17. First and 17 then. Let's call it. Sailors and crew ready to make up that lost yardage there. Pass over the to the left side. Looks like a zebra player down after he was tackled. Official timeout while they let the coaches, trainers come out. Christina Hughes, of course, 
from Rochester High School. We'll give them a moment, give the players a moment to get some water and be back in just a second. Well, he's up and moving. That's Bryce Lehman for the Zebras. Maybe just got the bell rung a little bit there. So we're going to bring up second and 12 for the Zebras. Long 12, we'll call it. Number 24, Harrison Harrell entering the game as a wide receiver for the Zebras. 6'1", 160-pound sophomore. Baker and Tarrant in the backfield, along with Sailors. Sailors looks, there's nobody there, busted play. He's brought down by number 76 of the Wildcats. Matthew Dial, 6'1", freshman, 270 pounds for Whitco. Darn near untouched as he got back there to take down Drew Sailors. Gonna make it third down. Sailors with the swing pass out to the left. Caught by Lehman, but brought down quickly. It's going to bring up fourth down. Riston here out for the near side. Sailors back for the pass over the middle. And not caught. Turnover on downs. 4.33 left to go in the first half. All evened up here 0-0 zero, zero at Barnhart Field. C-team football. Wildcats take over, first and 10. Got a couple yards there after pushing the pile. That's number 40, I believe, for Whitco. Let's see if we can't get you a number on that, and that should be Mason Lehman, six foot, 165 pound freshman. See number 63 enters the game for the Zebras. That's Bryce Kramer. Dylan Weaver comes out, number 79. Pitch out to the far side. He's got some wheels. Zebras able to contain. Brought him down just inside the first down. So, going to bring up third and one, third and one and a half. Zebra switching out some players. Ethan DeWald coming out. And this third down play. First down. For Whitco with three minutes to go here in the half. 
Change reset. Clock will start. The Eagles have one coming on late. Some confusion in their defensive setup. Got a player trying to get off the field here. Let's see if he makes it in time. He does. It's going to be a handoff up the middle again. Number 72 in on that tackle. Jacob Mark. He's a 5'11", 154-pound freshman playing outside linebacker, defensive line. Second and four for the Wildcats. Hand off to this near side. Zebras penetrating. Got him fired up there a little bit after the speech from Coach Weaver. Going to bring up third down. Pitch up the middle, or handoff up the middle, excuse me. Brought down quickly, Baker in on that tackle along with Weaver. Looks like we got a timeout, Whitco. Let the kids take some water. We'll be back here. Yeah, everybody's hydrated. We've got a minute 33 to go here in the first half. Fourth down for the Whitco Wildcats. Try and punch this in. No, rolls out to his right. He's going to pass, but then he keeps it, and he gets that first down and then some. Finally pushed out of bound by number 22, Justin Riston. Stop the clock as well. 125 left on the clock as they reset the ball here. Pitch to the far side. Great tackle there by the Zebras at the line of scrimmage. Number 23, Gary and Tarrant. Looks like they're going to call another timeout here with 105 to go. Back to pass. Dart over the middle. Good catch by number 87 there. That was enough to give him a first down with 59 seconds left. Back to pass, through the hands of number 89. Gonna stop the clock, bring up second down. I believe that's Isaiah Pierce, the wide receiver there. 125 pound sophomore for Whitco. Back to pass again, but he's not getting anywhere. Brought down by number 23, Gary and Tarrant in the backfield. Clock continues to roll with 45 seconds left. Hold on, they're gonna call a timeout. 
We'll be back after this. Well, here's the third down play by Whitco. Quick rush by the Zebras. Rush is handled, but pass gets off. Number 23 brings him down. Going to bring up fourth down. Some good play out of Gary and Tarrant tonight. You're watching Zebra C team football here on RTC TV4. Scott Sager with you. Got about 37 seconds left here in the first half. Score tied at null. As the Zebras have come out with a couple of good defensive stances. Get that offense cranking here in the second half and they might put a ball game together. Here's Whitco on their fourth down play. Drops back to pass, goes to the right side. Oh, quarterback overthrows the receiver. A little bit of contact at the end, but I think the ball was too far. So Zebras take over with 32.8 to go. Layman to pass, comes to the right side, through the hands of number 22. That's Justin Riston. 5'7 sophomore. Also stops the clock with 28 seconds to go here in the first half. Pass over the middle, my goodness. Great pitch and catch. That was number 24 for the Zebras. Harrison Harrell, the 6'1 sophomore. 20 seconds to go here. Looks like we've got a timeout Zebras. Still thinking about putting it in there at halftime, or before halftime. 20.8 to go on the clock. We'll be back in a moment. Your Sailors leads his troops out. They can put a drive together here right before halftime. Drops back to pass. Plenty of protection. Comes to the right side. Underthrows his receiver, number 22, Justin Riston. It's a good protection by that offensive line that time for the Zebras. So with 15-6 to go, it's going to bring up second down, 10. Zebras two wide outs right, two left. Well, Sailors look to his left with a high pass, couldn't quite be caught. He's gonna bring up third down, nine seconds to go here in the game or in the first half. Sailors drops back, some good protection again. Breaks through a first line of defense, but brought down. Just past, just at the first down marker, but time does expire in the first half. Well, welcome back. Second half action here on RTC TV4, Zebra C team. Scores tied up null to null, 0-0 zero, zero here. Whitco kicks off. Zebras just fall on it. Good field position there at the 35-yard line. 
Here's number 24 for the Zebras. Sailor's back, hand off to 23. He's brought down right at the line of scrimmage by number 32. Twenty-three Gary and Tarrant. Second down here for the Zebras. Number 22, Justin Riston coming out of the flank position. Nice gain, about four on that. Going to bring up third and five for the Zebras. More like third and four here for the Zebras. Sailors receives the snap low, decides to keep it and take it to the left side. Looks like enough to me. Gonna be first down Zebras. Heard the coaches shouting a little something out of nothing. We appreciate that, Mr. Sailors, good job. So, Zebras first and 10, 8.45 to go here in the uh, third quarter, I should say. Ball in the 46. Sailors back to pass over the middle, intercepted. He's brought down very quickly. That was number 44 with the interception. So Whitko's going to take over first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. 44 for Whitko being Colin Lowe. Five 740-pound sophomore. So Zebra defense takes the field. Whitko sees if they can't mount a march here. And off there, number 23, excuse me, number 32 for the Wildcats. Riley Young, 5'10", freshman. Number 12, Dominic Mosley, your quarterback. He's 135-pound, 5'8", freshman. Pitch to the far side. He stood up and uh, forward progression stopped. Again, that was number 32, Riley Young with the run. Great defensive pursuit there by the Zebras. So it brings up third down and 10. Wildcats send it over to the right side. Number 32 with the ball. Good hard run brought down by the Zebras. 
Going to bring up fourth and four, or a long three. Number 79, Dylan Weaver with the tackle of his career where he tackled both the quarterback and the running back at the same time. Either way, Zebras take over, first and 10. Great play by the young freshman. Dylan Weaver, all his teammates telling him, do it again, do it again. He'll get his chance here when the Zebras come back on defense. But right now, a little bit of confusion out on the field. Zebras trying to get all their guys lined up. Pitch out, near side. Plenty of blockers out here. Ends up getting taken down by number 82. It's a great run by Baker. Again, eventually brought down by number 82 for Whitco. That's Cameron Singleton, six foot, 150 pound freshman. First and 10 for the Zebras with 5.40 to go here in the second, or excuse me, third quarter. Score, score still 0 0. Sailors brings out a full set here on the first down play. We've got, looks like a false start on the Zebras. It's going to back them up five. So first and 15 for the Zebras. Twenty-three in motion, ends up with the ball. Good handoff. Let's take a roof, you will. Number twenty-three. Brought down by number seventy-seven for Whitco. Again, twenty-three for the Zebras is Gary and Tarrant. And he was brought down by Brett Weiss. Two hundred and thirty pound freshman for Whitco. But a good run, not quite enough for the first down. Going to be second and one for the Zebras. Back to pass, over the middle. Just throws behind his receiver a little bit. Going to bring up third down. Number 11 coming in for number one on the Zebras. Neither of them are listed, so don't have any names for you there. Zebras come out with two wide to the far side, one to the near. Looks like Lehman to the near side. Sailors hands off, number 34, Bryce Baker, and he is brought down almost immediately. That was number 76 for Whitco in the backfield. Matthew Dial. So, fourth down here for the Zebras. 
Fourth and about uh, three after that loss. Twenty-four Harrison Harrell here to the near side. Pass. Caught by 22, Justin Riston. Now for the first down for the Zebras after the nice block by Harrison Harrell. It's going to be first and ten for the Zebras as they continue their drive here. 3.18 to go in the third quarter. Zebra send trips out to the far side. Let's see if that plays into this at all. Just a little pitch, so he's got some blockers out that way. A good run. Number 34 for the Zebras. That's Bryce Baker, brought down by number 29 for Whitco. So Zebras continue their march inside the two minute and 30 second mark here. Trade down a couple of players as the new play comes in. Zebra in motion right there. Brought down though, it's number 23, good run. Tarrant brought down in the backfield there. See Harrison Harold rejoining here on this play. It's your second down play. Looks like second and a long 11. Zuber spread the field here with their offensive set. Saylor takes the snap. Quick pass off to the left side. Immediately brought down. Short gain on the play, number 34 there to assist, number 89 with the takedown. Bring up third down inside of a minute here. Third down then. Super spread the field again. Rolls to his right. Overthrows. Could be looking at a pick six here. Some of the Zebras trying to catch up, and they do, and bring him down. Save the touchdown. Fumble after the end, but we've got whistles. Big turn of events there on that play out to the near side. Sailors tried to at least slowed him down, tried to tackle him after the interception. So with 33.8 to go here in the third quarter, Whitco's going to take over. Ball at the 25-yard line. Whitco comes to the line. Quick pitch to the near side. Gets around the first defender. The second defender spins. Finally brought down. Number 50 with the tackle. But a great gain by the young running back. Zach Dugan, by the way, on that tackle. Touchdown saving tackle, you might say. It's going to end the third quarter. So the Zebras 
pretty mistake-free ball other than that one interception right there. Gonna have 10 minutes to try to bring her together. Show this fan base what they're all about. First to 10 for Whitgo here. Stood up at the line. Going to bring up second down. Whitco comes to the line. Pitch to the near side. Got some room. Pursuit. Stop just short of the goal line there. Like enough for the first down. Eight forty one to go here in the game. Whitco Wildcats threatening here. First down. And no signal from the referees. And there it is. Touchdown, Whitco Wildcats. Could not see who had the ball there. Just pushed it right through the center of the zebra defense. 8.25 to go in the fourth period, fourth quarter. Touchdown. We're gonna go for two here. He sent one to the far side. Roll out to the right. Defenders let the receivers right past him as if only focusing on the run. It's a lesson learned there. So that's going to make the score. And Whitco set to kick off here. 8.24 to go in the game. Whitco leading 8 to nothing over the Zebras after a interception took them very close to the goal line. A couple of plays and they were in. So a decent kick. Zebra's brought down very quickly after he jumped up to get that. Hit pretty hard as well. That was number 24 for the Zebras. Harrison Harrell. Pass over the middle, wide open little seam there, well executed by the Zebras. It was 23, Gary and Tarrant with the catch. Great run through that seam. Got a flag now, it looks like he just slipped out of his pocket. It's gonna be 8.07 on the clock. Ball at the 34 yard line. She was a little confused about their lineup on this formation as well. That or they're trying to confuse their opponents. Either way, let's see what we got here. Another little pitch and catch. Boom, diddy, boom. 
Terrence again. So it was 7.29 to go. The Zebras marching here. Ball at the 16-yard line. Quick little pass out to the right side. Terran again, just the opposite side. Keeps marching down the field for the Zebras. A great run by Baker to the near side. Gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. Six oh one to go here as the Zebras threaten from the five-yard line. First and ten, or first and goal, excuse me. No, tripped up the middle. Pulled him down forward, though, for still a gain of maybe a yard. See what happened there. Went out to pass to the right side, but tripped up. Looks like a loss of two on the play. Loss of one. Going to bring up third down. So 4.33. Two to go here in the game. Zebra still threatening. Third down. Pitch to the right side. Tarrant trying to get around the corner there. Let's see if he did. Waiting on a referee signal. And there it is. The Zebras have scored. We'll attempt a two-point conversion here to tie it up. Well, it was a case of the Zebras staying with what worked there. A couple of passes to Gary and Tarrant, and then finishes it off to the right side with a pitch to Gary and Tarrant. So, six to, Zebras trailing six to eight here as they try for their two-point conversion. Pass. And it is caught, and it is a tie game. Sailors to Tarrant, gets it done. It's going to tie it up. 8-8, eight to 4-15 eight, left to go. Zebra kickoff in just a moment. Zebras with a good kickoff, well over the head of the receivers. And I'll tell you what, he needs to pick that up. He, he kind of walked towards it. That's a live ball. Zebras trying like heck to bring him down now. 
See a flag on the play. He's finally pushed out of bounds. About eight zebras on his back. Let's see what the call is here from the head official. He's got an illegal push in the back by Whitco. That's going to back him up even more. As you can hear the zebra fans are quite happy with it. But again, he almost meandered to that ball instead of running down to uh, get it. It's a good kickoff by the Zebras. Put them in a good position here. Let's see if they can hold them with 4.15 left to go in the game. That was a spot of the foul penalty, so it's going to back them all the way up to about the 10-yard uh, line, 11-yard line. He was going for a good, strong defensive stand here. We'd go with the pitch to the near side, gets around the first defender, brought down by the two more defenders. The third defender pushes him out. Well done by the Zebras. 73, Ethan DeWald in on that tackle. To bring up second down. Handoff up the middle. Zebra stack him up. He's unable to get away from it. Going to be another loss there. Let's see where they mark him. Inside of 345 to go here in the game. Zebra's 8-8. Eight eight. Tied with Whitco Wildcat C team here on RTC TV 4. Big third down play here for the Zebras and the Wildcats, I should say. Zebras on a blitz, and boy, could they not have called that any better. My goodness. 34, Baker on the blitz, perfectly timed. Big loss on the play, going to be fourth and 12 for the Whitco Wildcats. Big play at a big time. Inside of three minutes now. Whitco setting up to punt. Zebra is number 24 back to receive. 24 is Harrison Harrell. What do we got here? Looks like we're going to have a timeout. 2.40 to go here in the first half, or excuse me, in the game. We'll leave it up on the scoreboard here while they go through this timeout. We're back from the timeout here. Whitco back to punt. It's a low punt, kind of squibby. Zebras just get away from it. Whitco downs it. The 32-yard line for the Zebras. They're in great field position with 2.40 to go here in the game. The crowd getting behind him here. 2.40 to go. Zebras marching. Sailors rolls to his right, throws to his right. Number 22, 
Justin Wriston just outside of his fingertips, gonna bring up second down. Lehman with the pitch out to Darian Tarrant. Gains about eight on that for the Zebras with 2.24 to go here in the game. Timeout Zebras. Zebras take the field after that timeout. Third down. 2.20 to go here in the game. Taylor's back to pass, looking to his left. Little low, but he gets it down, and they're saying no catch. Um, hit the ground, maybe. Going to bring up fourth down for the Zs. Pitch to the near side, but he's brought down in the backfield. Number 34, Bryce Baker. Going to turn over on downs. Whitco takes over with 2.09 to go in the game. Tied score 8 to 8. Good defensive pursuit there in the backfield, but he managed to elude it. 23, Gary and Tarrant with a tackle, along with number 50, Zach Dugan. A lot of penetration by the Zebras there. Tackled in the backfield, loss of about four on the play. Three on the play, let's give him the yard. 124 to go, timeout by Whitco.
Okay, 124 to go. Whitco, third down. Pitch to the near side. A couple of hold, not called. No flags on the play. That's going to be first down, Whitco. Hayes with the tackle, but not enough before the first down. Ball is inbounds, did not make it out of bounds. The clock is rolling. We're at one minute right now. He's rolling back, but he's got pursuit, and he's brought down. That four zebras back there, ready to tackle there. Was brought down by number five. That's Drew Sailors. Whitco, another timeout with 52 seconds left. After that timeout, 52 seconds left on the clock. Second down for Whitco. Drops back to pass to the near side. Intercepted by the Zebras. Talk about a game, Darian Tarrant. <laughs> Number 23, Darian Tarrant with the interception. So uh, the Zebras have new life here. A new issue beginning to plague them here, out, however, is the uh, lack of lights. We're about to lose the sun as she's going to set on the other side of the school. 52 seconds left. They've been hesitant to turn the lights on. They may have to. See if the Zebras can't help them avoid that by getting a touchdown. Sailors back. Pass out to the right side. Dangerous pass. But a reception, number 44 was I spying that, almost picked it off. Good coverage. It's going to be timeout by the Zebras with 38.9 to go. Zebra's coming back from that timeout. Second down, 10. Hand off, Tarrant, this side. Taken down hard by number 82 and 74. Excuse me, that was number 22 on that. That was Riston, Justin Riston. He's your 5'7 sophomore. Zebra's taking another timeout. We'll be back.
Third down for the Zebras here after that timeout. Taylor's back, got some extra protection, takes it right, just turns it and tucks it and goes. And we're up fourth down. Oh, wait a minute. He does get the first down. Clock still will set. And there goes the clock. Here come the Zebras. The quick offense. Sailor's looking to pass, decides to tuck, gets tackled. Clock continues to run with four, three, two, and one. That's going to do it for regulation. Eight to eight. Zebras and Whitco with a tie score. They are going to play overtime here. There was some confusion as to whether or not they would. Again, that issue of the lights is rearing its head now. See coaches and others who look like they're not quite sure where the lights are. So they're trying to get those on for the boys here as they play uh, some overtime action. Well, it looks like the light situation is not going to be resolved as no one either has keys or knows which buttons to push, so the boys are going to play in the dark. Our Irish makes Iris here on the camera brightens it up quite a bit, but it's actually fairly dark out here. First play right out of the gate. Whitco gets their touchdown. Zebras get one possession as well. Would go go for their extra point here. Of course, they'll go for two. We go send one out to the far side. But some great penetration there by number 34, Bryce Baker. Takes down number 12 for Whitco. Zebras will now take over their possession. Sailors with the pitch. Baker brought down at the five. It's called the seven. One more time. Second down for the Zebras. Counter to Baker, he makes it in. Touchdown, Zebras, wait. Looks like he's gonna call him short by about a foot. Gonna bring up third down then for the Zebras. Zebra fans on their feet. Go, 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 go. 
Chavis with a handoff to Baker. He's brought down, but it looks like he lands in the end zone. And there's the official, yes. Touchdown for the Zebras. Chance to tie it up here. Actually a chance to win here as the two-point conversion was not good by Whitco. So it's 14 to 14. Ball game's on the line right here. Zebras take a timeout. Well, here they go for the win. Your Rochester Zebra C team. Drew Sailors with the handoff, the keep, the room up the middle, and touchdown. There it is, a C team victory for your Rochester Zebras. Defeating Whitco in a well-fought contest. Well, your final score from Barnhart Field for this C team game. We'll show you the scoreboard. 16 to 14 in overtime without lights. Game time officially ending at 8.14. So a great job by this C team fighting their way through it. Hats off to Drew Sailors who came back and really put together a nice offensive package for the team today. Of course, Bryce Baker with his efforts. And I would say the player of the game by far, Gary and Tarrant with his efforts offensively and defensively. But overall, a great team effort tonight. We'll see you next time on RTC. TV4.